If you are making a video for a movie theater, you need to make sure to convert that video from its original format to a digital cinema package or DCP. In order to do this, we need to download the DCP-O-Matic, which is a free program from dcpomatic.com. This is a great little program, so I highly recommend that if you have um, a chance to, please donate so they keep this going. Um, once we've downloaded that file and opened it, mine might look a little bit different because I'm on a Mac, but this process is fairly simple. Um, what I'm going to do is first go to File, New, and create a new folder. That's what this is doing right here. And I'm sending this video to a theater, my local theater called Sans. And so I'm going to put this Sans theater trailer. This will make the file name and I'm going to choose where I want it to reside. So for right now, I just want it on the desktop and I'm going to click OK. Now what that did is it created this folder on the desktop and right now it just has some metadata in there, but it doesn't really have what um, anything right now that, that you would actually need for the trailer. So in order to do this, we need to add our video file. So I'm going to go find mine. You can um, look for wherever yours resides. I have two versions of this file. I have a 1920 by 1080, um, which is kind of the standard high definition, but I also have a 4K video. I don't know if this theater can handle 4K, like if the projector can do 4K or not. Um, and this one is 30 frames per second. This one is also 30 frames per second, but if it was 60 frames per second, again, I would need to check with the theater to make sure that they could handle that video. So I know that all theaters can handle 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second, which is the standard frames per second for NTSC video, which is what North America, or actually I should say the United States uses. Um, most other countries use PAL, which is I think like 24 frames per second. So, um, but because I'm in America and I bought my camera in America and I'm making it for an American theater, then usually it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. So um, I'll go ahead and click open and it's going to add that into my DCP-O-Matic program. And there's a couple things that I'll just go over quickly with you that you might not need, but um, it's there if you need it. So if for some reason this was 3D video, you could choose 3D here. If you needed to crop it, like if you wanted to get rid of bars or things like that, or if the projector at the theater just needed the video to be tweaked a little bit um, because maybe the, the projector was cutting off one end or whatever the case may be. Um, you can also fade it in and out, and this is good, like if there were multiple trailers for this theater, you don't want it to abruptly jump from one trailer to the next. So if you choose to do fade in, fade out, you can. This is hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. So again, there's 30 frames per second in standard um, American video. Um, if this was a 60 frames per second video and we know the theater could handle 60 frames per second, then this, this would have the ability to go up to 60. So if I wanted it to fade in at the beginning um, by two seconds, I'd put two here. Or if I wanted it to fade out, I'd put two here. So I don't want to do any of that. Um, I'll do audio in a second because that is something we're going to adjust. Um, if for some reason you wanted to change um, the position where the video started, you could do that. And you could also trim um, the beginning and the ending of the video if it's too long. Um, so our video is 90 seconds, it's pretty good, but the problem with our video is the audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and click show graph of audio levels. Right now it's showing that it doesn't know, it doesn't know the peak of the audio, so it's gonna sample and look for the, I think the highest peak. And you can see that it's hitting at zero decibels, which is actually really loud. And it's got some red stuff here. And if I do left and right, you can see there's right and then there's left. So um, you don't need to worry necessarily about that. You just need to know that it's showing that it's really loud. Um, and it says loudness range 3.05. So I'm gonna go ahead and down here, once I close that, see how it now shows you the peak is at 0.12 decibels and it's red. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the gain and we're gonna lower it and you can see it went from red to yellow and we're gonna just keep going until it goes to black. So this is what happens when you're like watching TV and you're, then the commercials come on and they're at a fairly even keel and then all of a sudden a car salesman comes on and he, he's just blasting and it's super loud and super annoying. So we don't wanna do that to people in the theater. 
So if I come back in here, um, you can see that it's a little bit quieter now, so hopefully it's not gonna um, freak everybody out. So once we've fixed that, it's important that um, you play your video and make sure it doesn't drop or doesn't have any glitches. It might be a little bit choppy and that's pretty normal, but if you don't like that, you can try to play it a second time and hopefully that should smooth it out just the first time it might be a little bit more choppy. But I've played it twice before and it's really choppy and then I convert it to DCP and it plays fine in the theater. So if it's being choppy, just know that that might not really be how it plays. Um, so once I think I've got it good to go, I'm gonna go to the DCP tab and it make sure it has the right name and then it's gonna say, what kind of content is this? Well, it's not the feature film, so we don't wanna choose that. And you can um, decide what all of these mean to you, like what is an advertisement versus a trailer. For me, an advertisement might be 10 to 30 seconds, and a trailer for me is gonna be 90 seconds to three minutes. So because this is 90 seconds long and people are actually, you know, like being interviewed in it and things like that, I'm gonna go ahead and choose trailer. And then it's gonna say what kind of, um, uh, do you want a DCI flat scope? Just leave it at DCI flat. I actually don't know what those mean, but you can look them up if you if if you're having issues. Um, and then resolution again. This I could have done 4K, but this is a 2K video. The version of the video I made that's 2K because again I don't know if the theater does 4K yet. So same thing with frame rate. This is made at 30 frames per second. If it was uh, 60 again, I would talk to the theater manager. So. Um, once I have all those set, I'm going to go up to jobs and choose make DCP. Once I do make DCP, it'll come up with some hints. It's just saying that this isn't going to work on all projectors, especially um, like if I were to send this to, let's say, a movie theater in Canada, which I don't know why I would do, but let's say I was trying to, it's probably not going to play it correctly because it's not the right frames per second. So I'm going to go ahead and choose make DCP and it's gonna start transcoding this. Now, just so you know, when it transcodes, it's in theory, it's supposed to take as long as your video. So since my video is 90 seconds long, it's gonna take 90 seconds to transcode this. Sometimes that's true, sometimes it's not, and it's definitely not true if your computer isn't at the highest end. So my computer is a 5K computer and it's pretty, pretty good but at the same time it still took like two or three minutes when I transcoded this. So just be aware that the longer the video, the longer it's gonna to take to transcode, and the lower end your computer is, it's gonna take even longer to transcode it. So just kind of plan your time around that. So we don't have to watch this whole thing. I'll go ahead and fast forward now, and then come back at the very end and show you what it created in that Sans Theater trailer folder. Okay, so it's almost done transcoding, and once it's done, I'll go ahead and open up this folder. Now, the reason why it's called DCP, or Digital Cinema Package, is because it's not just one file, it's a folder full of files, so that's why it's called Package. It's gonna finish the transcoding, and then if we double click in here, you can see that there's analysis, there's cover sheet, there's uh, the video that is an MXF file, and all of these things are needed in order to run this trailer through the projector. Now, a word of warning, do not change the organization of the files, don't rename anything, don't delete anything, don't even change the name of this folder on the outside because like this XML file is going to refer to these folder names and these file names and if for some reason anything has changed on those, it's no longer gonna link and it won't work correctly. So what you need to do now is you need to give this whole folder to the movie theater and that movie theater needs to take that folder and put it into their projection system in order to have it run.